I'm to present you the latest English news. The commander of Kabul Garrison, Command General Murad Ali, has urged the international community to increase pressure on countries which are supporting terrorism. Speaking during a press conference in Kabul, he said that terrorism is a regional and international phenomenon, emphasizing that the international community should unit in the fight against terrorism and increase pressures on countries supporting the terror groups. He further added that the ongoing conflict has been imposed on Afghanistan and the Afghans are in front line of the fight against terrorism. This camp says the Afghan and US officials have long been claiming that the militant and terrorist groups, particularly the Taliban and the notorious Haqqani terrorist network, use their safe havens in Pakistan, plan and coordinate attacks in Afghanistan. Afghan military claims that the air strikes in Nisran Farah province have left at least 46 militant dead, while 38,000 kgs of explosives have been destroyed. The 207th Zafar Corps of Afghan military in the West in a statement say that air strikes were carried out in the vicinity of Khaka Safi district. The statement further added that 46 militants were killed and six others were wounded during the same air strikes. According to this organization, at least five vehicles, motorcycles and three 8,000 kilograms of explosives were also destroyed during the air raids. And government or militant groups, including the Taliban militants, have not commented regarding the report so far. Resolute support has, however, rejected the claims of civilian casualties and say the Afghan force came under fire from local mobilization militia. At least 10 civilians were allegedly killed in a foreign force operation in Tagab district of Kapisa province on Sunday night, local officials said on Monday. He, the provincial council deputy chief, said the incident occurred on Sunday's night in Batrab village during a foreign force operation against Taliban and as a result civilians were killed. According to him, children and women were also among the victims and three others were wounded in the incident. He said that all victims are residents of the area. However, Resolute Support rejected the claims of civilian casualties and in statement say that during an Afghan army operation in Kapisa, the Afghan force came under fire from a local mobilization militia. The Afghan army requested air support. And Russia is to send new anti-aircraft missiles to Serbia a week after Syrian forces accidentally shot down a Russian aircraft during an Israel air strike. Russian Defense Minister said that S-300 surface to air missile defense system would be delivered within two weeks. The reconnaissance plane was downed on 17 September after Israel jets attacked targets in Latakia province. Israel denies failing to give Russia adequate notice of the air strike. All foreign Russian military personnel aboard the plane died. He said that the delivery of S-300 system had been suspended in 2013 following a request from Israel, but added now the situation has changed and it is not our fault. Thank you. That was a brief. Have a good night. Take care.